The chairman of Soft Tribe, Herman Chinri Hesse, has described raid by national security as needless, arguing it could have been done in a civil manner. He was speaking a while ago on the Super Morning Show on Joy FM. Soft Tribe provides payment system solutions for the Ghana Water Company Limited. The national security carried out the raid to verify claims that the company was holding on to some software for billing. They, they keep putting the press like we are hungry and we need their contract. We are partners. We, we do work, they do work. They do their water, we do our IT. If they don't want to work with us, it is their right not to want to work with us. It is their right. I want to repeat this. It's their right. We are not fighting. This is not about contract. We don't want our intellectual property stolen. If they are said, we will fight to the death. We didn't go to school and work 20 years to invent something in hard, hard Africa for some fool to steal it. That's not, that's not going to happen. That one will fight. We'll fight all the way. So. I wanted to clear a few things. Firstly, uh, our guy's phone that I said had been scrambled, uh, a guy who they took in, uh, they haven't returned the phone. Okay. But we found a remote way to access it and read what was on it. And we realized what they had done to it remotely at national security. Um, I'd like to also make a, a simple point. What, in this raid that they came and did, couldn't they have just called, hello, yeah, uh, we would like our data. Two minute explanation, oh, okay. Mm. Why did it require wasting state resources, bringing handcuffs and mm. guns and so on? I mean, it's not even logical. Then I, I'd like to say this that, you know, as I said, the best way forward, Ghana government has invested. We have invested. We think we've created a very good product and the public is there and they're using it and they're happy as far as we can see. We have also picked up leads for other African countries, Lagos Water and so on who want to buy the system. It is a great source of revenue. This shit could make us $100, $100 million a year. It will be a sad, sad day if these shenanigans cause Ghana government to lose that investment. It will be lovely to have Ghana water making money from water and also making money from the expertise. Because what the agreement was that when we go into other countries, we do the technology, they do the training. So all the guys will get consultancies and so on. And Ghana Water as an organization will make a lot of money. This is quite novel. We are very proud that we recommended this model. We could have just gone, taken the World Bank money and gone home. We structured it like this so everybody will win. And Ghana government will end up owning intellectual property, which is a new source of revenue for the government. Rather, we are suffering for this. So there's that. And then the last thing I'd like to say is hashtag Bring back our phones. Bring back our phones. Our phones are still with them. Let's do the decent thing. Okay. Decent people. Bring the phones back. Hashtag bring back our phones. So that, that, that's, that's the last thing you have to say. But we still have a few questions. In the first place, I, I have a listener here who says that if I tell you, and I, I, told, I have her permission to read this very she said, if I tell you that up till yesterday, I was in my compound fighting with Ghana water officials, you will not believe me. The Momo system is whack. I've made payments of over 600 Ghana cities in debt. Um, that was not my own, that they have refused to affect on my account. This is so the tip of my eyes, the iceberg with my issues with them. So tell him that the 1% are listening. I'm, I'm happy the 1% are listening. I, I don't deny the existence of the 1%. Um, don't forget that not everything is technology related. There's also administrative issues. If you put in the wrong opening balance when the system started, you may have a, a carry forward of, you know, but it's not the uh, plus this month, minus this month. That is simple. That we can do. So there are such things. And every month we are fixing them and they are reducing. I think they are under 1,000 now, huh? out of 500,000. Under, under 1,000? Yeah, and coming down, and coming down, and coming down. Every month, they, us and Ghana Water work together. We pick up people like her, and then we, they, 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 we work together, come up with a solution, and we, fi and we fix it. It's data. It's not the software. It's the mm -hmm. data we are fixing. Because mm -hmm. the old system had so many challenges that a lot of data, data that came from there had, had problems. And don't forget the old system, the back was open. Unlike ours, unlike ours, the back mm. was open so somebody could tamper. Ours can't be tampered. So when we see people trying to access the back, we are very worried, very worried. Uh, uh, so just a, a clear answer to this one. You are collaborating with the board chair in spite of the fact that you think this is not necessary, his, his audit is not necessary? Well, I think that we'll, we'll sit down and talk and explain to him further so he understands it's not necessary. But, but you are the users of the system. 
we, we don't know if they write to us and say there's a problem, we'll fix it. Ah, so did you take part in the selection of any experts from Ashesi or from Kofi Annan Center? Uh, Mr. Antonio, he asked, told Mr. Antonio he wanted a third party in the, in the deal. Uh, but he said this may be the, the best way to do it. We, no, we are not trying to fight anybody. We're trying to be positive, and, and we might still go ahead and do what Afenio says, mm. just to give everybody a chance and have consensus at the table. We are not here to fight. We don't hate national security. We don't hate Ghana water. Ghana government has invested. We have invested. Let's go together. Let's make money.